Hey guys, there's just one other thing that I forgot to mention um, in that, in Exodus 34, I was talking about um, Moses coming down from the mountain after the second 40 days, and um, it says that his appearance, um, and I'll just show you here, this is the concordance here, um, the skin, uh, it stems from this word right here, um, nephal, to be exposed, to be laid bare. Um, this word nephal stems is actually means cast down. Nephal means to cast down. Um, but this word right here is a, connected to that, I guess, and means a, to be exposed. Um, and then this word that is associated with, um, let's see here, and is the skin, that was this word, and then his face, this word, panim, means presence. Um, so his presence, or his countenance, um, which stems from this word right here, turn into. So his, um, his presence turned into... And then this word here um, means to shine, but it also means to display or grow horns. And I'm not sure what what all of this means, but um, we know that Mount Sinai, this word right here, means thorny. And it says, located at the southern end of the Sinai Peninsula, between the horns of the Red Sea. I mean, this is the Strong's Concordance. It actually, it actually says, between the horns of the Red Sea. So it's kind of funny. So it's not me, um, you know, it's, it's, the actual, it's the actual words themselves that seem to indicate that, you know, these were called the horns. They called these the horns of the Red Sea. So, um, I don't really know what it means, but I, I meant to tell you guys that in the last video, and I just um, didn't get the chance. So, it's connected to this, this, um, this timeline here some, somehow, somehow, when Moses comes down from the, the second 40 days. And there's an unveiling of some kind that happens. Um, so, um, anyway, that's it. I'll let you go.